champion driver, Graham Hill. This is one spin which doesn't involve driving at 180 miles an hour, just the speed of the shutter to record the profile which has become famous throughout the motoring world. These photographs won't find their way into any newspapers because they're the vital link in a revolutionary technique developed by London sculptor MacDonald Reed. He's eliminated those monotonous sittings by taking a series of photographs and feeding them to a special machine he's developed that turns them into 3D and solid at that. Five pounds, that's all this secret invention cost in a government surplus stores. Mr. Reed spent months redesigning Air Force map-making equipment into a sculptor's tools, which, guided by the photographs, mechanically shapes the head. Here's the result of a process which Mr. Reed keeps secret, but he's adamant it only saves time, not skill. Those vital details are something which only the sculptor's experience can add to a bust. Each skillful stroke slowly recreates the subject's personality in the clay. Of course a man must trim his own whiskers, mustn't he? Lord Atlee and the Lord Mayor of London, the Right Honourable Ralph Perring, in company with a whole row of celebrities who've been modelled the robot way. And when you meet an old rival like Sterling Moss, you just have to acknowledge he's a tough nut. Not for the first time, Graham's got a head. But now it's one to look at and one to work out weighty racing problems. Racing weight is a problem many more people...